Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brother Shield. Today we're gonna come back to another emulation test. So what I'm gonna play this time, uh, let me just bring up uh, the silo launcher. So today we're gonna test out uh, the dolphin emulator. Uh, this is was the last of, uh, I think, of the MMJ build. So this is the dolphin uh, version, I think it was the latest. I really need to double check it. Cause I am 100% sure a lot of the, um, well at least the MMJ build always runs faster than the official Dolphin. So I mostly stuck stuck to the this particular build. So today we're actually gonna come to come back to tests and uh, I wanted to actually to test uh, Star Fox Assault. Uh, should I check the settings real quick before I started? So without further ado, let's begin with this test. So beautiful thing about Dolphin is that everything mostly works. Uh, I hope there is a new update in future Dolphin. Actually, no. There is another MMJ build. Uh, I think it was by Inuasha. Okay, let's begin. At least the cutscenes work. Remnants of Andros's butchers, you've kept us busy, but now your end is at hand. No quarter! Show these dogs we need business! All ships, battle formation V. Break through the center! Okay, things are running smoothly. Well, Fox, looks like we're not too late. Yep, of course, General. It's just so crazy. I can't believe Andros had so darn many troops left behind. They're almost all common scum, in it for the money. They're quite dedicated for a bunch of hired guns. The leader of this rebellion is none other than Oi Kane. Okay, I see now. So we're here because... We're here because we gotta put this creep on ice. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now, get prepped and go. Let's go, team.
communications line green. Like it needs no pushover. So be careful out there. Okay, now I'm gonna play the first mission and see how it runs. Hopefully, it runs well. Yeah. Oh, ships, very small. Avoid the Armada's fire. Aim for Orkney's flagship.
enemy flagship is fleeing to Fortuna. That's Scott Wicked, he's getting away. After him, Fox. Keep moving, follow him into the atmosphere. Adjust G diffuser system output. Let's go.
reinforcements? That doesn't look friendly. It's exchange thought patterns. No, it can't be. Aberloin, Aberloin, Aberloin. Aberloin? There's no time to hesitate. Return fire.
Embers of Star Fox. A grave danger looms. The Lilac system is in peril. What? How do you know? We know. The research director will brief you on all the details. Hello again, everybody. Dad? You're the research director? You never told me that. <laughs> well, gee, didn't I? Yes. In any case, if I may continue, these aperoids... Aperoids? Indeed. They are the enemies you faced earlier. I believe it was about uh, 17 years ago. A whole fleet was destroyed by a sole aperoid. We were somehow able to survive that trial, but that was just a taste of, of what's coming. But we are currently analyzing data from the core memory you found. But we could understand much more if we had a complete specimen. We have detected a distress signal originating from the Kaina outpost. However, we're unable to contact anyone there. We suspect aperoid involvement. You must find the distress signal. No problem at all, sir. I'll head to the surface immediately. That signal shouldn't be too hard to find. By yourself? It's too dangerous. I'm going too. No, I want you guys in our wings, covering me from above. I'm counting on you. Let's do this! GG's. Okay, so that was literally the first mission. Uh, once I able to press pause, I'll pretty much quit because I wanted to do. quiet. Something's wrong here. It's a trap! It's the Aperoids after all. Okay. Okay, there's something wrong with the controller settings, I need to change that. Okay, I just want to quickly test if the controller's set set up right, because I was getting a little issue. Let me skip. Let me just skip this real quick. So let me just quickly see if the well, at least I have the right assignments. Luckily, the GameCube had a little C stick, so it wasn't just uh, just a one stick uh, like the PSP was. Good news, it works. The problem is, I, why did I keep it inverted? That was a bad move.
now this is just another quick test I want to see uh, hopefully the analogs working just real quickly after this boom we are golden Everything's working crystal. The only issue now is just the frame rate. So let me just go back. All right, so that was pretty much um, Star Fox Assault. So it's been actually quite a long time since I played this game. I actually uh, finished this game on the GameCube years ago. I still have it actually. So um, yeah, so now that the settings have been set up for that, I may actually just do a walkthrough on Star Fox Assault. Uh, next time I play it, since I was able to do mission one, might as well just jump to mission two. Uh, good thing about Dolphin is that you can still move the save file uh, to another build of Dolphin. So the frame rate was uh, actually it was actually quite decent. Well, it's not perfect, but it was actually quite decent from the last time I played it on the original. It was really really slow. So good news is that Star Fox Assault is so much more faster than Star Fox Adventures. This game, although this one came out earlier, is so much more heavy when it comes to the graphical fidelity. Compared to Star Fox Assault, it's so much more smoother. It's a lot smoother to run compared to Star Fox Adventures. Star Fox Adventures is much more heavier. Anyways guys, let me know what you think of the test in the comments below. I actually, it's more of a walkthrough, but let me know what games you want me to test out in the next video or any other videos after. Did you enjoy it? And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always guys, this has been your boy Brother Shield. Take care and peace. Bitchu.tv